In this video, we're going to be going over the basics of probability. The most important thing you need to know about probability is probabilities always add up to one. So if I said to you that the probability of me winning a game of cards is 0 0.3, then using that rule that probabilities add up to one, you should be able to say that the probability of me losing a game is 0 0.7. Okay, so let's look at one more similar example. So here I've got the probability of it raining is 0 0.25. Now, from this probability, you should be able to say what is the probability of it not raining. And you should have got 0 0.75. Now in the exam, of course, you can look at this and just say 0 0.75, but it's nice to show some working out to make sure you get that method mark. Okay, so here we've got a table format. These are the probabilities of different colored beads being picked out of a bag. Now, we ought to work out the probability of picking a green bead. So, we're going to use that rule again, that probabilities add up to 1. So, we know the probability of getting a red bead and a blue bead and adding them up gives us 0 0.5 now there's only one remaining number left and you know these need to add up to one so you simply do one minus the total of the ones you do know which is 0 0.5 and we'll go on to do one minus this answer which will give us the remaining number which must be the probability of green so the probability of green is 0 0.5 so in this question, it says, given that the probability of picking blue and green is the same, find out the probability of picking a green. Now, we're going to use that rule again, that probabilities add up to 1. So we'll do 1 minus 0 0.2 to see how much is left. So here we can see there's 0 0.8 remaining. So these remaining two boxes must add up to 0 0.8, because that will allow all of them to add up to 1. Now, the key thing here is in the question it said that the probability of picking a blue and a green is the same. So we can simply just divide that 0 0.8 by 2. And so 0 0.8 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.4. So the answer to this question is the probability of picking a green is simply 0 0.4. Okay, now we're going to look at a different type of question of probability. So here I've got three white sheep and two purple sheep. Now let's say I'm going to pick a sheep at random. What is the probability of me picking a purple sheep? Now of course there's two purple sheep. So you do two. Now it's going to be over the total amount of sheep we've got, not over three. So be careful about that. Because you're picking two out of a total of five. So it's two out of five. Now let's look at one more similar example. So in this one, we have seven red pens, three blue pens and four green pens. And the question is, what is the probability of not picking a blue pen? So how many pens have we got which are not blue? And that's seven plus four. We got 11 pens which are not blue. And remember, it's always over the total. And the total we have here is 14. So our answer is 11 out of 14. And that's the probability of picking a pen, which is not blue. Okay, so this is going to be our last example. Here we've got a frequency table talking about absence. So we've got a class of 20 students and they either had zero absence, one absent or two absent. Now the question is, what is the probability of finding someone who's only had one absent? absent day so we need to look at the frequency of having one absent day and that's just eight here okay so those eight people which had one absent and it's going to be over the total number of people so if you add up all your frequencies you get 20 so it's going to be eight out of 20 and when we cancel that down, we get 2 out of 5. And there we have it.
I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.